All right, let's talk about porn and faith. By the way, before I do so, I just want to let you guys know that I'm streaming this on Twitch late, and then later releasing it on YouTube. So link to our Twitch in the description. Also subscribe to our newsletter. Also, I now have some videos that is only for our Patreon, Patreon exclusives. Uh, so link to, uh, to our Patreon in the description. The one that I did right now uh, was uh, refuting Jared Taylor and why about police racism. So if you want to see that, that's only for our patrons. Link to our Patreon account in the description. Anyway, let's get into um, let's get to this one. Let's see how porn affects people's faith in God. Epidemic that is affecting the entire Wait. globe. We missed the first part. Huh? There is a porn epidemic that is affecting the entire globe. Scientists are now recognizing the major problems that are caused by pornography and how people are addicted to pornography. This is something that is so... Okay, let's be fair though. The, the problem that they're addressing is for people who are addicted to porn. There doesn't, there's not an issue with people who consume porn, but they're not addicted to it, right? So if you're addicted to alcohol then you have an alcohol problem. But if you're drinking alcohol once every while and enjoying it with friends, well, don't enjoy, actually, don't, go ahead, enjoy porn with friends as well. But but if you're just enjoying it sometimes and you're not addicted to it, it's just harmless fun. So he's trying to, like, just because we know that porn could be addictive and could be harmful to some people, that doesn't make porn as a whole a bad thing. So severe that in the United States, there's even one state that has declared porn a public health crisis. This is primarily due to yeah. the addiction. Yeah, it is a public health crisis to a lot of people. But if you're enjoying it without making it control your entire life, then it's fine. The nature of pornography. One study from 2013 even said that pornography creates the same pathways of addiction in the brain as heroin. What has been less studied... Yeah, to some people, again, there are some of us who could consume porn without getting addicted to it. Like, we have to uh, clarify that every time. It is how pornography affects... So this is, here's the difference. Here's why porn is more like... So it could be very addictive, but it's more like alcohol, where it's addicted to some people and it's not addictive to a lot of other people. Heroin, on the other hand, anybody who anybody who uses heroin will be addicted to it, I think. Um, I don't know, actually. I'm not an expert. Let me know. But um, but there are many people that consume, like, consume porn without getting addicted. In fact, most people who consume porn are not addicted to it. Religious beliefs... In a recent oh, wait, wait. study published in the National... Hold on, we missed something. How pornography affects religious beliefs. Hmm. In a recent study published in the National Institute of Health, sociologists Samuel Perry and George Hayward published an article called Seeing is Not Believing. In this article, they tried to explain how pornography addiction affects faith, religious faith. And they found shocking results. They found that pornography has a secularizing effect on the viewer. They found that increased viewing of pornography. Okay, so here's another difference between porn and alcohol. Alcohol is only for fun and it doesn't have any benefits, I think. But apparently porn has a secularizing effect. So that's great. That's awesome. That's a, I think that's a good argument for why we need to have porn secularizing effect awesome pornography causes a decrease in one's feeling of closeness to god oh a decrease in nice. frequency of prayer oh great a decrease in frequency of religious service attendance wow a decrease in the importance of religion in one's life Amazing. and very importantly an increase an increase in doubts about <sighs> one's faith. doubts that's the best one i didn't know i could like porn any more than if thank you daniel I read you for convincing me that porn is actually better than I thought. Look, all of these five are great. By the way, why does it, why does it number five get its own bullet point? This is why is it underlined 
why is it not the same format? Is this is uh, this is upsetting to me? Where's where's the five dot here? This is really annoying. Why is it the same? Not the same as the other ones. But all of these fives are great. Look, decreases perception of closeness to God. Amazing frequency of prayer. Even better, religious service attendance gets decreased. Great importance of religion. My this number, this number four. I am really a big fan of number four. A decrease in that one. But the best one, the number one, this number five, increase in doubts. Oh, I see why it does why it's separate because all of these four is decrease, but this is def different because this is an increase. But this number, this one is the best one. Wow, great, go porn. All of this is caused by a frequent viewing of pornography. What's interesting Good. is that these effects hold regardless of gender. It affects males and females equally, but it does have a greater impact on youth. So teenagers especially are at a higher... I keep thinking this Daniel Hayraju's video seemed to be like more of a how-to guide for, uh, uh, for secular activists rather than a warning. <laughs> it's like... Like, okay, so, by the way, when he says youth, not children, okay, just youth. Um, but, yeah, if, I mean, we are keep trying to find ways how to reach out to encouraging more doubts in youth, and he's telling us how. Thank you, Daniel. Again, youth, Their not risk children. of experiencing these effects from increased watching of pornography. So this is something that Muslims have to be aware of. How scary is this that there can be a drug Ooh, so scary, porn. that can have this effect on your Iman? It's interesting because iman we usually think about doubts or shubuhat in Islam being caused by intellectual trends or ideologies that might be affecting the way we think about certain issues. And that's true. That is a big source of doubts. But another source of doubts can be something that's not intellectual at all. As this that's a very good point, you know. We can't just try to, if we want to reach uh, people, we can't just use intellectual methods because a lot of people are not interested. We have to find other ways for encouraging doubt in people. So thank you for give, for telling us that this works, Daniel. This research shows something that is just viewing mm. uh, indecent images, indecent videos can create doubts, can create doubts in one's uh, Islam and create these kinds of shubuhat. Imagine that there is a drug that is as addictive. So if you want to promote this, if you want to promote more doubt in youth, the next time try to not just consume f uh, free porn if you could afford it. Maybe try to find your favorite uh, porn star and actually pay for their content just to encourage you know, more valuable content that is actually seems to be helping the world as heroin and can potentially destroy your iman and not only is this drug completely free of charge it's also widely available and you can access it at a click of a button amazing and also there are no laws against this drug there are no regulations Good. in many countries around the world <laughs> so this drug can flood the market imagine how destructive yeah, because unlike what you want most countries in the world are not theocracies a drug like that could be and how much damage could be caused to people's faith to people's iman if this drug were flooding the market and in fact that drug exists that drug is pornography and i like how people think that this is you know you know they just look at these images as if like they're scientists and they know exactly what conclusions they have to take out of it like oh oh yeah i see now i look at these images i could completely understand what your what your point is like they think like uh, they're trying to come up with conclusions based on just d you know data that they're saying they don't know like interpreting these data it takes a scientist and this understanding of pornography as a very powerful addictive drug is not something new even israel as a country has used <gasps> pornography as a always weapon go to israel palestinians i wonder in why 2002 when israel was attacking uh, palestine specifically the west bank they took over the palestinian tv stations and broadcast pornography on the palestinian tv stations think about it why okay, would what israel the hell? Do look at this, this?
What they, are you are you really using the reference of what you're trying to say happened? Your article written by yourself. At least put a news article and, and <laughs> legitimate, like a, some credible news uh, source to say, you know, because I'm I'm pretty <laughs> pretty sure that your take on what happened is going is not going to be very well balanced and fair. Um, so yeah, I don't know if this I should be trusting it, but. But okay, let's just assume this happened. Okay, I'm not saying it didn't happen, but let's see what his conclusions are. They did this because they understood this is a weapon to take away the hayat, the modesty, the decency of Palestinians to corrupt the Palestinians on a spiritual and psychological. I don't know, man. If you if you interrupted their TV. I don't know how much corruption can you cause by porn in the Palestinian minds if you interrupted their TV while tell while their normal TV is telling them how evil the Jews are and how they should all be executed and promoting mass genocide even to children, bringing out Mickey Mouse and tell, getting little kids to tell uh, to tell you know to other kids how they should be happy to one day grow up and get the chance to kill another Jew. If those kind of uh, TV announcements was interrupted to show porn, I, I would I would think that the corruption level of the minds decreased rather than increased. Logical level. But of course, as Muslims, we've always known that we have to lower the gaze and Allah commands us to lower the gaze because the eyes are the gateway to the heart. And if you expose your eyes to filth, then that will blacken your heart and dirty your heart because of what you see. If it's a gateway to the heart, then why do I feel it somewhere else? See and hear. What is amazing is that in one narration attributed to the Prophet wasallam, he says that the furtive glance is like a poisoned arrow of shaitan. So the poisoned arrow is particularly deadly because... There's some poison arrow joke somewhere here that I can't think of right now, but yeah. After you remove the arrow, the poison is still in your body. The poison is still affecting you and can make you sick and can even kill you. So this is exactly akin to the nature of pornography in its addictiveness. That even when you're not watching it, it can still have an impact on you and it can make you crave it and want it more and more and more. So the prophet... You know, this might be why these um, porn might encourage doubt in religion because your religion is telling you that the things that you're naturally feeling, the desires that you naturally have and you want to satisfy somehow, it's evil and you should be scared. And, you know, your nature is when your nature, the, the nature of your feelings takes over this religious dogma, when it wins over it, sometimes you feel like how, you know, you, you go, you start doubting an ideology that tells you that you're pathetic, weak, and disgusting simply for giving in to the natural desires that you have. That's why you might actually start doubting an ideology that is telling you this horse shit. Wasallam, is warning of this the Quran and the Sunnah is warning of warning us of this kind of damage caused because of uh, the unrestrained glance and looking oh yeah at, let's let's go to your prophet for an authority figure on how you know how our minds work and what's best for us mentally like let's go to ancient um, scripture written by people that had no idea about anything uh, anything about uh, you know, our mind or our body or anything about the hormones or anything about ev everything that we have discovered in the past 1400 years. Yeah, yeah, let's go see what those people have to say and what's, what those people say is the best way to live. What is forbidden? So we ask Allah to protect us 
from this kind of fitna to protect us from pornography, being addicted to pornography. And we also ask Allah to protect our children because they're also extremely vulnerable to this drug that is being mass produced and pumped into every single home through the internet, through television, through every single... Okay, I have a better suggestion. If you're addicted, first of all, if you're addicted to it, don't pray about it. That doesn't do shit. Go see some, um, go get some expert advice, okay, but about from people that actually know what the hell they're talking about rather than these, um, you know, ancient ideologies. And yeah, don't let your children get access to that. You don't pray for your children. That's not going to make them watch porn, but like find better ways. Again, I'm not a parent, so I don't know how you can control the content that their kids are exposed to. But yeah, make sure you uh, make sure your kids are not exposed to it. Avenue of media. So this is an extreme danger, an extreme fitna. We need Allah's protection. We cannot be successful in avoiding this without Allah's protection. And if you are watching this and you are... Well, Allah's protection seems to be not working very much, is it? Like given how you admitted yourself that how fast the porn industry is growing and how easy access, how easy, uh, how easily it is to access it. In fact, Allah's protection seems to be backfiring because Islamic countries are the number one consumers of, of porn. Yeah, actually, what about that? How is that? How is that working out for you? Why is it that the more Islamic and the more religious uh, community is, or society, like even in the United States, you can see the more the more religious states have higher porn consumption per capita, and more Islam Islamic countries are always at the top of the list when it comes to porn consumption per capita. It's almost as if your religious ideology is not working. It's almost as if you're you constantly shaming people and making them feel disgusted um, about their natural desires actually turns them into addicts and people that uh, are consuming this content in an unhealthy way rather than in a healthy way. Just a thought, maybe. Are addicted to pornography or you have a problem with porn in the description of the video I've included some links to resources that can help you with this some of the resources are from Muslims some of the resources are from non-Muslims so avail yourself of these kinds of resources I understand and whether from Muslims or non-Muslims I wouldn't trust any of the sources resources that this guy uh, offers I would say go do your own research to figure out what are the best if you're an addict if you're not addicted enjoy your porn peacefully and there's nothing wrong with it don't let anybody shame you to thinking that you're doing something wrong by consuming porn um just have you know just have the peace of mind that this is okay all right in fact yeah never mind but but if you're addicted to it yeah let's go find help and find other resources definitely not islamic resources pray to allah do not pray to doesn't guide you to help you uh Actually, pray if that's your kink. I don't know. I'm not kink shaming anybody. Free yourself from these chains. Free yourself from this addiction. Free yourself from something that is potentially causing you doubts in your religion. Something that is potentially causing you all kinds of damage to your faith and your iman with Allah. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. All right, that's about it. Anyways, guys, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Uh, share this video. Hit the bell thingy um subscribe to our newsletter become a patron i'm making more uh, i'm going to try to make two videos like this every day but also a third one that is for our patrons only so if you want to get access to those uh become a patron once you're becoming patron if uh, every time i make one of those i'll send a link to that one to our patrons um so yeah link to our patreon in the description become a patron and also uh, there's a whole bunch of places where you could follow um me personally and Aces republic all of that is in the uh I, also if you want to bring something to my attention uh, my twitter my own personal not Aces republic my own personal twitter account is in the description uh, if you want me to review a video um you know mention it to me on twitter like at me or something like that i might not reply but i do notice them anyways bye